Hello Transformers fans, and welcome back to Nerd Doc. With Transformers Rise of the Beast now in theaters, we're taking a look at the mid credit scene and some of the easter eggs in the film. That means there are spoilers for Transformers Rise of the Beast in this video. This is your spoiler warning. There are chapter timestamps so you can jump around the video, and as a reminder, the movie is still in theaters so we can only use footage from the trailers. Please bear with us there. If you're looking for information on the ending and the new crossover film that's coming, you can find that video linked in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, find any easter eggs that we missed, or just want to give us your thoughts on the movie, leave a comment below. The mid credit scene in Transformers Rise of the Beast shows Noah in a garage with his friend Reek. They're actively rebuilding Mirage using parts that Reek has helped procure. The parts are mostly junk, but given Reek's affinity to theft, he may have stolen some of them as well. Nevertheless, Reek wants to sell the car and bets Noah that it won't even start. Of course, Noah knows that the car is actually a Transformer, so he wins the bet as it starts up just fine, and Mirage even transforms in front of Reek. There isn't a ton to dissect here, as the scene is fairly straightforward, but this would have been the perfect opportunity to turn Mirage into an F1 car like he is in the Generation 1 cartoons. It's understandable why he's not an F1 car, since it would be difficult to drive around the streets of Brooklyn and something like that, but he didn't really need to be the exact same car as Jazz either. Anyway, Mirage is back, although not as sleek looking as before. However, since he is Mirage, it means he can make his appearance look however he wants it to look in the future, which means by the next movie, he'll probably be back to normal. If you've seen the movie, or watched our Ending Explained video, you know a team up with G.I. Joe is coming. The fact that Mirage has been rebuilt means it's very likely he will play a role in the crossover film as well. Also, given that he looks a little bit junky in the mid credit scene, that's a subtle nod to the 1986 animated film when some of the Autobots visited Junkion, the junk planet. Many of the Unicron aspects of this movie have been taken from the animated film, and this is just one such easter egg. With that, let's take a look at some of the other easter eggs in Transformers Rise of the Beast. There are a number of one-liners like More Than Meets the Eye or Until All Are One, all of which are taken from the Transformers cartoons and the 1986 animated movie. The sound that plays during the Paramount logo at the very start of the film is a mix between the cartoon transforming sound and the transforming sound from the previous live action films. Ape Link, the former leader of the Maximals, tells Optimus Primal that they must preserve the transwarp key and keep it away from Unicron no matter the cost, which is a direct reference to the animated movie when Optimus Prime says, Megatron must be stopped no matter the cost. In addition, at one point in the film, after Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal meet, Primal tells Prime that he was named after him. This is an easter egg for Beast Wars fans. In the Beast Wars cartoons, the Maximals are actually descendants of the Autobots and come from the future. They end up traveling back in time to Earth, which is why they're from 5,000 years in the past in the movie. Primal is named after Prime because he came long after the current generation of Autobots. This time travel is not explained in the film beyond this one line from Optimus Primal and a brief mention that the transwarp key controls both time and space. Optimus Prime is not trusting of the humans, but he acknowledges that one human was kind to Bumblebee in the past, and Optimus always calls Bumblebee B throughout the movie. These are both references to the Bumblebee movie and Haley Steinfeld's character, Charlie, who was kind to Bumblebee and called him B all the time throughout the film. When Scourge gets one half of the Transwarp Key and thinks his mission has been completed, Unicron scolds him. This scene plays out very similar to when Galvatron was scolded by Unicron during a similar mistake in the 1986 film. There are even some musical cues of Unicron's theme from the animated film that play out during this scene. The minion Scourge summons throughout the film look similar in design to the Blendtron minions Unicron has used in other Transformers projects. They are smaller and not as powerful, but their design definitely seems to be inspired by the Blintron. During the final battle near the end of the film, Mirage becomes an exosuit for Noah, which is another direct nod to the animated film when Spike got an exosuit that could even transform. Noah's suit never really transforms, but it does seem to have more firepower than the version in the cartoons. At the very end of the film, Noah is asked to join the G.I. Joe team. This is an obvious nod to G.I. Joe, as well as the G.I. Joe vs. Transformers crossover comics, some of which even featured Unicron. That covers all the main easter eggs that we found in the film. So what did you think of the mid credit scene? Are you excited to have Mirage back for the next movie? And how do you think the G.I. Joe crossover will end up working? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For now, that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and share with someone who loves Transformers and Beast Wars.